Hello, and welcome back to today's video. Today, we are going to play, be playing the second level of training in Coder Minds. Let's open up the box once again and put aside a rule book. Now let's take out the board first. So if we open up the board, as you can see, I am the red. So this level that we're going to be playing today is on page 19 of the robot. It is 1.2 advanced training. So this one is basically like the basic training, except in this level, we will be using a little more advanced Java code. So if you haven't watched my previous video about 1.1 basic training, then training is basically the ability to train or teach something to a robot over and over again until it finally understands it and then at the end it can accomplish a certain task. So this is used in artificial intelligence because you need to train your neural network. You need to train your machine to do something otherwise it can't accomplish the task. Anyways, um, it's basically the same thing. You still need to zap another player, but you need to use advanced cards at this time. So the main part of this game is, once again, we're putting this image recognition as kind, but the main part in this game is the advanced code there is. So if you've watched my previous video, I have told you to take the green border and the black border cards and put them aside. Well, in this level, we will be using them but we are going to be creating a separate pile for them. So last time, if you remember, there was one pile for basic cards and then there was a sap card. This time, we're going to be having a pile for advanced cards. We're going to be having a pile for our basic cards and we're going to be having a pile for our sap. Now, if you don't remember, like we did in the basic cards, we need to shuffle these once again, but we also need to shuffle the advanced cards. So now each of these advanced cards have a different meaning on it. So if I open this one, it reads while backwards not safe or backwards not blocked, move one circle back. So I can take my bot, and as you can remember, these eyes are facing the end. And so let's say I'm right here. So while my backwards is not safe. So while basically means keep on doing it until the condition is true. So while backward not safe. So as you may have remembered, the safe is a gray circle that is kind of like a brick wall, but when you're on it, no one can zap you. So while backwards not safe. So if I'm right here, then one circle behind me is safe. So I'm gonna move back. Well, backwards not safe or backwards not blocked, move one circle backwards. But let's say the blue bot was playing and it was right here. Now, right now, the backwards is blocked, so I'm not going to be moving backwards. I'm just going to keep this card and leave it in my code because it's not eligible. But let's say it's not here. So I'm going to keep on moving backwards until I'm here. Because then here, there is a gray circle, which is a, a block or it's a safe. So while black backwards not safe or backwards not blocked, move one circle backwards. So that's one example. You basically just kind of do that with all the cards. Um, then if there's an if card, such as um, if right is safe or if right is not blocked, move one circle right. So if is basically just a one condition. As you remember, while is going all the way until the condition is false. So if right is safe, my right right now is safe, or right is not blocked, move one circle right. So it's only one circle because it's an if statement, so I move it right. But then if you read below it, it says else, move one circle left. So let's say it was right here, this ball was right here, so I, then I would have to move one circle left. So each of these cards have its own condition statement to which you have to understand and listen to it. But the main part you need to remember is while, is keep on going until the condition statement is false. And if is just one, because it's if something happens, then you do something. And then those are the green border cards. But you also mix them in with the black border cards, which are the functions. So function is one of the main 
main, 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 I cannot em emphasize it enough, main coding concepts. A function is basically repeating something over and over again, but you make it a function so that whenever you need to do that certain step, you don't have to put those exact code out. So let's say you get draw a function card. So if you read the card, it says function, new card one, new card two, and new card three. So then you draw three cards. And then let's say you wanna make, put them in a certain order to make a function. So I've moved two circle any, move one circle forward, and move one circle left. So I can arrange it in any order I like and make it a function. So that every time I am in a scenario like that, I can just pull out, if I get a function card, I can use it. And if you understand that, let me give you a little more simple example. So let's say it is a morning. So a morning function can be wake up, brush your teeth, and eat cereal. So now if you make that a function, every time you wake up, you just got to put, uh, put the wake up function and all those three things will be done. Now in this game, your function can be only up to three things, but in real code, it can be more, maybe less, maybe more, however you like. And then the same thing as the previous level. You still need to zap another bot and get to the end. Oh, but I forgot to tell you. If you roll the dice and you roll it and you get a two, you need to, you have to pick one of the advanced cards. But let's say you roll a one. Then it's your choice which one you want to pick. And as always, you can use your zap card, accommodate it as whatever you like in your code. And yeah, that's level two of Coder Minds. Uh, level 2 of the training of Coder Minds. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you join us when we play the next level. Thank you!